Hello friends, myself Ramesh Chandra, did BTEC from IIT Kanpur and uh, today we have a topic concept delta plus learning and uh, this is our problem number 4 for the student who are preparing for IITJ advance and seeking their all India rank in between 1 and 1000. Please subscribe our channel and press the bell to get such kind of videos in near future. Mathematics problem number 4 and the problem is basically based on the concept of argument of jet and some concept of circle and the distance between two complex numbers. So let's let's have the problem. Here is the question. If argument of z minus z1 upon z minus z2 is pi by 6 and minimum of mod of z minus z1 comma mod of z minus z2 is less than or equal to root 3 mod z1 minus z2 then the value of 3 upon pi mod z1 minus z2 into the length of locus of z is equal to we need to find the value of this and fill at this place the level of this question that i have decided is 5 out of 10 so let's understand the problem and the answer for this question is 4 if you wish you can solve it your own first and then look at our solution let's first understand the concept of argument of z minus z naught equals theta so what it is let's understand here we have two axes that is real axis and imaginary axis this is what we call argon plane and let's this is a complex number z naught it mentioned here so z naught is showing the radius vector as shown here and let's say this is a line parallel to real axis passes through the point z naught then a ray starting from z naught and making angle theta with the positive real axis is this then the locus of z in this case is the ray starting from z naught if we say that the argument of z minus z naught equal to theta then locus of z will be the ray starting from z naught and the ray is making angle theta with positive real axis so the z can lie at any point over this line and there are infinite point over this line so this is the first concept that we need to remember let's move on next concept concept number two and that is argument of z minus z1 upon z minus z2 equals pi by 6 so before moving on this let's understand the basic of arguments if we say that argument of z1 upon z2 equals theta this imply argument of z1 minus argument of z2 equals theta now similarly if we think of argument of z minus z1 upon z minus z2 equals theta this imply argument of z minus z1 minus argument of z minus z2 equals theta so you need to remember uh, the concept that i have apply here this is for z1 upon z2 and the same way this is for z minus z1 upon z minus z2 equal to theta here we can apply uh, 2k pi as well but at the moment we need not as such let's this is a complex number z1 and this is a complex number z and uh, the ray starting from z1 
and this z is lie on this ray and uh, this is another complex number z2 and uh, so z minus z2 is this vector and z minus z1 is this vector starting from z1 and the, this vector is starting from z2. Let's say this angle is theta 1 and this angle is theta 2 then as per the given question argument of z minus z1 is the angle that z minus z1 vector make with positive real axis. This is asking for theta 1 minus theta 2 z minus z2 is this angle and this is equal to pi by 6. So as you can observe from here theta 1 is then external angle in this triangle so theta 1 minus theta 2 is this angle and this is pi by 6. Even you can also say that this angle is also pi by 6. And so let's move on the problem. So as you can observe this angle is pi by 6. So this is pi by 3. This angle is pi by 3. We know the concept of circle as the chord Z1, Z2 will make angle pi by 6 at the circumference of this circle and that point will lie over this region and not at this place. Locus of Z, the Z will lie on this major arc of the circle as shown. Let's move on next concept, concept number 3 and that is the distance between two complex numbers. So again we have argon plane with real axis and imaginary axis and this is Z1 and that is the radius vector and we have another complex number Z2 that is another radius vector. Then the distance between Z1 and Z2 is mod z1 minus z2. As you can see the radius vector z1 minus z2 must be this. As we know that z1 minus z represent a position vector. So this whole vector will shift at this place and its tail will be at origin. So this become z1 minus z2 complex number and its distance from origin must be mod of z1 minus Z2. Now let's move on the solution part and uh, before moving solution first understand the meaning of this. Now what it is saying that Z minus Z1 mod it means that the distance of point Z from Z1 comma and the mod of Z minus Z2 is the distance of Z from Z2. So these are the two distance of Z from Z1 and Z2 and uh, this is for the set and this set contain two values this and this. So we need to require the minimum of these two distances and this distance is less than equal to root 3 mod of Z1 minus Z2 that is the distance between Z1 and Z2. So let's move on. Let's say this is a circle of radius r. This is radius r and I have extended this radius so that it meet at point p. We know this angle is pi by 6 as per the given question. Hence this angle become pi by 3 and that is 60 degree angle. Now if this is pi by 3 60 degree angle and this is r, this is r, this is isosceles triangle. So this angle will also be of pi by 3 and this will also be of pi by 3 due to equilateral triangle. Now if it is equilateral then this is r then this is also r and this is also r. The side of equilateral triangle are equal and even you can think of this is also r and this become the diameter of the circle. Now if it is diameter then this will subtend 90 degree angle at the circumference. So if this is r then we can say that this length must be root 3 r. If we think of 
mod of z1 minus z2 mod of z1 minus z2 means the distance between z1 and z2 and its distances are and hence root 3 mod of z1 minus z2 is the this distance that is given in this question if we know that this is point z then mod of z minus z1 mod of z minus z1 is this distance and mod of z minus z2 is this distance so from here you can observe that this is 2r and this is root 3r so this is minimum hence minimum of these two must be less than or equal to root 3 mod z1 minus z2 so this is the limiting case now if we think of another point z then we can say that z will lie at this point z will lie also at this point since this distance will always be greater than this distance and that minimum minimum of these two must be less than equal to root 3 mod of z1 minus z2 so p will move on from here to here from here to here in the same way there will be another point if we extend this at this place then we will get another region that is this much region so you can see that the locus of z in this case is the arc this arc and we know that this angle is pi by 3 hence this angle is pi by 6 pi by 6 and this become 2 pi by 3 and this is r r similarly this also become 2 pi by 3 and this is also pi by 3 the locus of z in this case is this red line so locus of z in this is the green arc that we saw if z is following these two condition then common region must be the red red arcs then length of locus of z must be since it is making 2 pi by 3 angle this is also 2 pi by 3 so length of locus of z must be the 2 times the theta c r that is 2 into theta c is the angle in radian that is 2 pi r 2 pi by 3 into r that is 4 pi by 3 r that is the length of locus of z and mod of z1 minus z2 is the length r that we already been uh, decided so the value of this must be equal to 3 by pi into locus of z that is 4 pi r by 3 upon mod of z1 minus z2 that is r so if you think about then r will get cancel out and even 3 will also will get cancel out pi is also will cancel out hence 4 is the answer for this question i hope you like the concepts and the problem so if you wish to get such kind of videos or problems in near future then please subscribe our channel and press the bell to get notification first thank you